Why do I feel so awkward answering that? Hello, welcome back to my channel. I was meant to film this video last week, but I never got around to it, so we're doing it now. I'm gonna be doing a Bake With Me assumptions video. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make some mocha cookies, which sound good in theory, but I've not actually tried this recipe before, and I just came up with it late at night, so there is a high potential that it could go very wrong indeed. But that's half the fun. I've got a rough recipe written out in chicken scroll. Um, all the ingredients are nice, so hopefully it should come together. I also asked on my Instagram any assumptions that you had. I didn't really want to do this because I'm a very sensitive soul and I knew that I would get offended by something. If you want to be involved in things like this, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Erin Appetit. Follow me over there for a good time because I post pretty much daily and it's always good stuff. <laughs> I haven't looked at these since they were... You okay? Can I help you, babe? I had to include a banana in this recipe because I've got like three bananas that are this right and quite frankly, they disgust me. I'm gonna have to use it. The first assumption, you were good at sport in school. I'd say I was decent at sport. Um, well, actually that's t doing myself a bit of a disservice. I was a really good sprinter. Short distance is where it's at. I was also vice captain of my house. So we were put in houses like, you know, Gryffindor and stuff like that. And I was the sport vice captain of my house, which was the greenhouse. So represent Howard. I played netball when I was much younger and I was decent. I was decent, I haven't kept it up. You have a lot of money saved. Um, I don't know what a lot is, but I do have money saved because I'm currently technically unemployed. When I was working, I never really spent my money. So yeah, technically I do have a bit of money saved up, but it's all in my um, cash ISA. So I can't really use it or withdraw it because I'm using it to hopefully buy a house in the future. You don't want kids. At this moment in time, no, I don't want kids. <laughs> The thought of it is like, eh, I don't know, they just seem a lot of effort. If they're anything like me, they'd be an absolute nightmare to look after. I don't know, my opinions might change. Someone said, you have a boyfriend? No, I don't, but if you know anyone, let me know. Uh, you don't care what people think. I think everyone, to some extent, cares what people think, but what they think doesn't stop me from doing what I wanna do. Do you see what I'm saying? Like having a food Instagram or making YouTube videos someone's opinion is not going to stop me from doing it but it would be nice if it was supported i should put a bit of vanilla extract in there of course you've always eaten a healthy and balanced diet i'd say it's always been relatively balanced i'm definitely more in tune with my body now so i used to just eat for eating's sake and now i can sort of intuitively eat and like listen to what i actually want and what makes me feel good whereas back in the day it would just be a lot of a lot of just what i thought i wanted do you know what I mean? But no, I definitely, I've always eaten my veggies. It depends how you define healthy, but it's always been balanced. You're super chill and funny. That is a correct assumption, yes. No, actually, I don't think I'm that chill. I think I can get really stressy. Like I can be a stress head, but everyone has the ability to stress. I am funny though. You have a very fast metabolism. I don't think I do. I just know how much I need to fuel my body now. It's also a combination between Everyone has a bit of puppy fat when they're in their teen years and you sort of lean out as you get into your 20s. I think the way I move and the way I exercise has helped with my body composition. Honestly, I think I've grown by doing yoga. I'm not even joking, like at least two inches. Uh, you're quite extroverted. I think this is the same for a lot of people. Yes, around people that I know, uh, I can be very loud and obnoxious and annoying. In situations where I'm in like a big group and I don't really know them, I will let someone else do the talking. By all means, go ahead. I got a few assumptions saying you were popular in school. It's really hard because everyone has a different definition of popular, but I had a good group of friends that were friendly with most people. I don't know, it's hard to say. You don't really want to say it about yourself, but I think I was kind of relatively well-liked. I don't think we were the most popular group, but we, it was, we had a good solid group of friends. Yeah. Why do I feel so awkward answering that? Now to make the mocha cookies, I'm gonna add a chocolate coffee protein powder. If you don't have a protein powder, then you can just add cocoa powder and coffee. Someone said, you like oldies, brackets, music. Absolutely true. Um, ask me to name something in the charts at the moment and I will not be able to tell you. I'm the worst at that. I love me some David Bowie, I love me some Stone Roses. I love all that. You are a perfectionist. Correct, absolutely true. I hold myself to very high standards and I think you can just tell if you watch any of my videos by how I present my food. I will not take anything less than perfection. No, I do try really hard um, and I like things to be a certain way. You don't like wearing makeup. Um, 
I like makeup, I don't have anything against makeup. I don't like the feel of it on my face, but I don't think anyone likes the feel of it. But no, I, I do like makeup and I like how it makes me feel, I like the confidence it gives me, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, so no, I do like it. You are popular with the boys. Uh, someone tell the boys that, please. You get on with your family. I think it's a pretty normal family dynamic. We have our ups, we have our downs. You know, we fall out. We fall out, of course, on occasions, but at the end of the day, I love them, they're my family, so yeah. I live with my sister and my mum, my dad lives away from home. But I'd say on the whole, yeah, we get along. <laughs> you have high standards. Um, of myself, yes. Maybe of other people, maybe that's why I'm single. This one's quite funny. You don't eat ice cream, even dairy-free ice cream. Uh, not true. I mean, I don't eat it that much because it's not my favourite. But no, I, I had an ice cream last week. Nice dairy-free one. You had rich parents growing up. No, we had a very modest upbringing. We definitely lived within our means. My parents worked extremely hard. We lived in a terraced house. Uh, me and my sister had a bunk bed. No, it was all very modest and the place we live in now is absolutely gorgeous, but they worked really hard to get this house and not rich by any means. And I certainly don't get things given to me on a platter. You don't eat normal candy. I'm gonna take candy to mean like any sort of packaged sweet treat. I think that comes from the fact that I'm always eating and making my own bakes but that's partly because I have a food blog and also I do prefer my own cooking I prefer knowing that it's made with love and care and not just mass produced in some factory but that's not to say that I don't think a lotus biscuit is the nicest thing in the world because damn I'd say not often but I definitely do You were the quiet kid in school No, I'd never define myself as quiet Maybe when I was really really young but no Oh, that's wrong Not true Oh my god this is really good. I had to wash my hands. They were getting pretty grim. You're naturally skinny, or it's because you eat healthy. No, I'm not naturally skinny. I don't think I am. I mean, I don't really like the word skinny. And I know it's just a descriptive word, like I shouldn't be putting any value on it. But I don't really like it. I know this person didn't mean any offense. Um, I'd say it's lifestyle. Because when I was younger, I definitely held on to a little bit more fat than I do now. <laughs> mm. I can eat this, can't I? While we wait for the cookies, I'll answer a few more. You were a high achiever at school, slash always tried really hard. I love you for that, thank you, but no. I'd say I was like average, um, and I applied myself in subjects that I enjoyed. It's hard for me to get like too excited about things like science, so maybe I could have done better in areas like that. I'd say I just middled. I wasn't really the smartest, I wasn't really the best at anything. I was good at drama and English, that was pretty much it. You prefer veg to fruit? Yes, because I'm really not a sweet tooth and a lot of fruit to me is just overly, overly sweet. Like bananas, I can't really have them by themselves anymore because they're so sweet. Like my favorite fruit is an avocado because it's not sweet. I love veg. Um, you're an introvert. I think the actual definition of introvert is like you thrive off your own company. And I'd say I'm pretty good in my own company. Like I don't get bored. So yeah, I honestly don't know. You have a small group of friends. I'd say as you get older, your circle definitely becomes smaller. But I'm still close with a lot of my um, friends from school. But yes, my circle is definitely smaller. I probably have like a handful that I see every year. A small but very nice group of friends. Um, I thought you were in your teen years. Oh, thank you. I wish. I'm actually turning 24 in a few weeks, which we're just gonna pretend that's not happening. I have to tidy. I don't really want to, but look at that. But I thought instead of tidying, I'd just um, put it off and answer a few more questions. <laughs> I got one saying that I had struggled with bad body image in the past. I've spoken a little about this before, kind of. It's not, not like serious, but I think everyone sort of looks at themselves and is overly critical. I used to look at myself and think that I was too skinny. So, which is why I sort of don't like the word skinny, skinny. So yeah, I'd give myself a little bit of a hard time for that. Right now I'm at the stage where I genuinely feel good and happy within myself, so, yeah. They smell really good. I'm gonna let them cool down so they firm up a little bit, but they don't look amazing. I thought I'd end off the video by trying a cookie and answering one more assumption. I couldn't get through them all because I'm not very organized and a lot of them were kind of similar to each other. Um, the final one, you haven't got into uni slash college. Um, first of all, ouch. Oh, ye of little faith. Uh, actually graduated in 2018 with a first class honors in journalism. So, 
Mic drop. I think people think I'm way younger than I am. Anyway, let's try. Mm. Wow. That is nice. The chocolate, the coffee, the oats, the banana. Mm. That's going to be everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Mm.